Yeah. One bag of gold medal for me now. Champion boy, you know the damn thing. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Say what? Champion boy, you know, or Jai, you think, go? That's what we heard. That's what. That's exactly what we heard. Mm -hmm. Hi, Corden. Um, second Jamaican to win the 400 meter hurdles title at the Pan Am Games. Here to tell us all about it, Jahil Hi joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Did you skull training to be here this morning? No, it's November. Training's finished now. I For knew that. For a little. Then when you start training again? Good question. Yeah. Not sure as yet, but a break it's only is been good. a couple of days, but a, great, a break is good. A yeah, break yeah. is good. Well, congratulations, first and foremost. How do you feel about your medal? Thank you. Um, I feel good. It's always good to win, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go out there, the aim is to always win. Mm -hmm. So it was at an awkward time in the season, but, you know, I still managed to persevere. Um, we've been training for... 13 months straight mm. from last year, October. Mm. So, I think that's what people don't realize, Jahil. No, a lot of people don't. We know see that. you um, in, in what? Seconds. Mm. seconds. 50 seconds. And we think that's it. We think you just warm up before the race. And, but <laughs> what's your preparation been like over the 13 months? It's been a tough year for you. Very tough. Yeah. Um, a very different year for me as well. I transitioned overseas. Um, I moved to a new training group overseas. So that has been in itself an adjustment. Mm -hmm. So to, and then this year has been the longest that I've been training. So, you know, Wales was in August mm -hmm. and then I decided to carry it on until mm -hmm. November. So it's been tough on the body, but in the last couple of days, I've been feeling it. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. as soon as the sun goes down, I want to sleep. But, mm -hmm. you know, we had to stay strong. Yeah. Why, did you decide, why did you decide to participate, to, to lengthen the season and go on till November? Personally, the season, the reg in the regular time frame, it didn't go as well for me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I decided why not give it one more shot to mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. if I can leave with something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I left with Jamaica's <laughs> first gold. At the Pan Am Games, listen, the only other person to do this is Winthrop Graham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is history. How did that make you feel? Because I think sometimes when you guys go into the race, it's about execution. It's about getting it right. Mm -hmm. Men are the only the hurdles. It's, it's nerve-wracking for me. It's <laughs> nerve-wracking for me, especially th this. Because, listen, I run, I jump is two things one time. I don't have that kind of coordination. Coordination. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's easier than it. Oh, come on, Jay. Easier than it to is. you. Yeah, because we do it every day, probably five, six times a week. So yeah. it's easier than it seems to you guys. So, But, I mean, I actually didn't know that Wintrap won it. Yes. But, I mean, I feel good to, I feel good to be in that. Yeah, yes. 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 great company there, sir. Yes. And this is not a little win. This is a convincing well, win. Um, tell me about your competition at the Games and how difficult it was for you to, to get the ultimate, which is the gold. I was, pr I was pretty confident. Anywhere you go to run, you want to win, as I said. Uh, sometimes it doesn't pan out how you want it to, but this one, I was pretty confident in it, mm -hmm. especially after the heats. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you still have to go out there and run the race. Yeah. Right. Despite you probably being better than somebody, you still have to go out there and run the race. That's why the races are run, so. Yeah. With all of that said, you just still have to be, can't be complacent, you still have to be confident and Actually, run at that race. point, your biggest competition is you, right? Yeah, You're running, running for time. the clock. Yeah, <laughs> and for me, it wasn't the smoothest race, but um, going there, I know that as I, as we said before, it was an awkward time in the season. Mm -hmm. Um, you're probably not at your peak performance, all right? So it's more so just trying to stay strong mentally, yeah, mm -hmm. and knowing that all right, yes, you have to do this one more time. I remember when I woke up in the morning, I was like, all right, just mm -hmm. one more, mm -hmm. and the day, but the day was like moving so slow. Oh so my slow. gosh! Oh my god! And then it was cold. The air was dry. Yeah. Everything. I probably just even recovered. Yeah. From that run. Yeah. yeah. We, do we don't think about all these? I mean, Jahi, is sitting here, and I'm sitting there thinking, it like, talk. my God, it like it the talk. air is dry. So your nose are bothering you. Your mm. body. Literally, up. since I got home last night, it cleared up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the whole time I was there, yeah. Sick. 
I was joking oh. around with you when you came in that, um, well, Jail, now Daddy can't say a thing to you about, about, about choice mm -hmm. of sport because you were an awesome football player. Mm -hmm. um, any times have you ever said, oh my gosh, oh, why did I? Why did I not stay with football? So, do you really let, love this? I'll let you know a secret. Tell me. We love secrets around here. Um, my, a lot of people see me and ask me, your father wanted to play football, never once, he never once said that to me. Oh. You know, he probably even likes track, likes to watch track more than football. <laughs> but there was a point in time where I never really used to watch football because oh. I was like, damn, did I make the right decision? Yeah. Oh, so man. it took me a while to come around, but... I mean, I still have plans in kind of in the back of my head to mm -hmm. to play football. I, I'm also still in football. I'm actually a certified coach, soccer coach. Yeah. Yeah. So, Good job. I still have plans to go back into football. I saw playing maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. but my right sole now. focus is being a football coach. Yeah, we coach. need those legs to stay where they are, please. Nobody will keep the ball because the risk is too great. <laughs> Can we not do that with these national treasures? Thank you, on behalf of a grateful nation. Um, We're looking at Paris. Yes, we are. I'm looking at Paris. Mm -hmm. What are the plans? Because I know you're going back in it to training soon. Yeah. yeah. What does this mean for you, looking ahead to Paris? Well, one, the, it's, well, how old am I, 26? Mm. So probably really in season, you know, next year I'm looking to Go on better the last Olympics I fell after I was in great shape. Yeah. Oh man. Um, so the next one, obviously, I want to make the finals and go one step further and trying to medal. But it's easier said than done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The work starts in a couple of weeks, so I have to be better than last year, better than the year before, mm -hmm. because the hurdles is at the next level. Yeah. The other Jamaican who beat me, Russia and Clark, was my training partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have guys like him, and there's probably going to be five more of him coming up. So yes. it's never just a straight road. Y'all go reach the finals, <laughs> Jail. Mm -hmm. Y'all go reach it now. When you reach more, you look on the TV and say, Delia. Why <laughs> <laughs> laugh? It takes me back to the mental piece, though. We have 50 seconds on the clock. That's oh. a piece that, um, if you don't get it right, it doesn't matter what your body does on the day. You know, when you, when you fall in a race, um, when you have to get up and say, oh my God, can I do this today? That mental piece, mm -hmm. how do you keep that piece intact to ensure that you show up on the day? One, you're battling with nerves, anxiety, yeah, all of that. But what, calm, what keeps me calm is knowing that I, I said to myself, well, you've been doing this for years. It's the same feeling. And for me, once I go in the blocks, once you start to say on your marks, everything goes because I said that to somebody the other day. There's no turning back. It was another athlete. There's no turning back. Okay, I said, so, okay, I'm soon come. <laughs> you have to decide whether you want after the race, whether you'll be like, I should have, could have, would have. Yeah. But you have the moment right there to just try and do it. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen all the time, but mm -hmm. just try. And that is great advice. And a great way to end. Olympic finalist. <laughs> Remember me telling her, Speak it into being. I'm going to wrap my head when I'm in the finals. I'm going to believe me. Jail. Me don't know, me don't know. So proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, well done. <laughs> get some rest, guy. I'm for sure. Will. Yeah, man, eat some good food eat and, some food and ready up yourself. Rest. Yeah. Jamaican athlete, Jail Hyde, uh, with us this morning. Still to come, we'll eat more. <laughs> <laughs> we get the details on the Troop at Expo. That's what's coming. Uh, yes. Why well, don't do me that? Simone, you jump a red a while ago, you know? I did. Oh, I'm a proud. I ran under I'm it, proud actually. You know. heard it all of me, know. my girl. You can't yeah. jump that. Lift. News in five is next. Lift. Your core. Under, your, your, underneath. Underneath.